Howdy folks, I wanted to show you my newest holster. This is for the Leatherman Free P4. Uh, when Leatherman announced the Free Series, I ordered it and on um, the first day started designing this holster. Um, so what I did is I created an extremely detailed 3D model of the tool and designed the holster around it so that this is extremely form fit. It's flush to the front of the tool and has an absolutely secure fit. Uh, so this is the fourth in a series of holsters I've designed for Leatherman products. I also have it for the Wave, the Charge TTI, and the Surge. Each one of these I designed uh, basically to have a very similar function, which is that I use the spring clips built into the tool to retain the tool. So there's no plastic piece that's going to wear out. There's no metal clip that needs to be bent in every once in a while. All we simply do is dock the tool. This will last for thousands of cycles. The holster itself is made from laser-centered nylon. This is a professionally 3D printed product that results in a solid nylon material that's extremely durable and strong. Um, it's available in nine different colors and then five different belt connection options. The default belt connection option fits a thick leather belt or a military issue BDU style belt. I also have an option for a police uh, style duty belt or double thick belt and a uh, taller belt option. Finally, there's options for tech lock products. There's an option for uh, Chicago screw or metal clip products. And then an option with an open loop uh, for those who uh, kind of want to, don't mind the possibility of a clip breaking, but just want to be able to snap it onto their belt without having to feed their belt through. Um, the, also, on the default loop options, there is connections. These slots here allow for pads or moly webbing attachment, and then a keyhole type feature, so if you want to hang it on to, say, pegboard. The holster itself was designed, again, with seven different prototypes uh, to have an extremely secure fit, extremely solid, I'm not squeezing it here, regardless of how you put the tool in. A little bit slightly looser at the top as far as how it comes out versus the bottom. That simply has to do with the angle of the springs when they're oriented. They have a further movement at the base. Uh, so this is available from my store on shapeways.com. Uh, search for Zap Wizard, along with the thumb tabs that are available here. Um, so these are a separate product that I'm selling that allow you to open the tool easily without having to worry about get digging your fingernail in or pushing your finger too close to the blade. Uh, they're available also in nine different colors. You can either press fit them in, super glue them into place. Uh, you can actually removable super glue because the nylon will actually uh, not soften before super glue would if you wanted to uh, heat gun remove these. Um, but the default method is actually using two small set screws. Uh, they do have to be ordered separately just due to the way that Shapeways works. Uh, but they're commonly available in both inch or metric sizes. And what they do is they thread in and actually expand the plastic and lock the bit holders or uh, thumb tabs in. Uh, one product that will be coming soon is also a replaceable bit holder. This is the very first prototype. Uh, it needs some changes. Unfortunately, it's probably going to lose the can opener uh, feature, but this will uh, replace the two default uh, screwdriver options and allow for a replaceable option. Uh, that'll be coming soon. Otherwise the holster and the thumb tabs are both available on my store on shapeways.com again. Search for Zap Wizard. Uh, I also have the Surge and the Charge. The Surge and the Charge have bit holders on the back. Optional bit extender attachment. And the Surge comes with a spare blade holder. Uh, so I look forward to seeing what people think of this. Uh, thanks for watching.